All right, so let's move. Say we want to move this trailer. Even though I like Premiere, I want to move it to Final Cut Pro uh, 10 or X, whatever you call it. So first thing we're going to do, we're going to go Export, and we're going to go Final Cut XML. Simplifying Project. So this is a Frisbee trailer. So we're going to put it under my Frisbee name. All right, Frisbee Wedding. All right, so we're going to save it there. Final Cut Pro. XML. Alrighty, then it's going to give me any warnings or anything like that. So then I'm going to open up a third party program you could download. It's called, uh, uh, let's see, CC to X or X to CC, or I don't know what it's called. <laughs> let's just go look for it real quick. I think it's called X. It's called Send to X. Alright, so send to x so i need to translate that so i'm gonna go to my file i'm gonna go to frisbee wedding frisbee trailer xml all right send to final cut pro uh 10 or i'm gonna save xml file i'm just gonna save it right now and then all right send to x it says that all right so now we're gonna open up final cut pro and I'm running the latest version as of this uh, filming 10.3. Alrighty, so it's gonna let's do a new library here. Okay, let's do a new that event is let's close that library right there. I do new libraries for every um every job, so it's just easier for me to do that. So new library, and then I'm going to go over here, Frisbee Wedding. I have one. So I'm going to call this uh, frisbee underscore trail. Okay, so once I have that, I'm going to go on to import. I'm going to go to XML, then send to X. See, I couldn't just get this XML, even though it's Final Cut XML. Don't ask me why. I had to get this third party program. All right, so let's look at it. It's importing resources. So let's go back to Premiere, what I have here in Premiere. Everything here, I have my audio here. I have, you know, pretty complex timeline. But I'm in the middle of an edit if I want it to switch out just on, uh, just because. So you see all of the tracks. You see all the stuff I know exactly. Haven't made any color adjustments or anything like that yet. So um, I haven't put any titles, anything like that. So. Let's see what it does. So first be trailer. Let's see it's bringing people in, bringing stuff in. Let's see a smart connections. Let's see there it is. So let's look, and there it brings it in. Okay. So let's see what it brings in. Let's go back. Once we get the spinning beach ball of death here. <laughs> yeah, good old Premiere doesn't do that, but uh, my Final Cut Pro. Um, it does that sometimes, just because it's importing and thinking and all this footage and things like that. So let's pause this. Okay, so it came through pretty well. Um, it put some placeholders and some gaps when I have my different things and my timelines, how, how it puts, how it brings it in. But pretty much, it brings it in. Uh, let's see, it brings some anchor point ignored. Um, it brings some little things, dip to color. It's fade to color. Dip to color is called fade to color. So it tells you what happens with each of those things. Cross fade, cross dissolve. I'm doing some things with the audio. So I made a few effects, but not many. So you'll see on this timeline, um, I'll bring another project in when I make color effects and all that other stuff. So uh, that's how I bring in from Premiere to uh, Final Cut Pro. 10. Now, if I want to do it reverse, if I want to bring that project, I use another program, a third-party program, and that is uh, X uh, to CC. Same thing, X to CC. If I want to bring that in there, so I take X, and then I tell you what roles I want to include, okay? Enable clip only or that, all right? So... And I do that, and then I just hit send to X, X to CC. So those are two programs. I'll put links in the description. They're, of course, Mac-based programs. One of them is pretty expensive, but um, if you're 
working between Final Cut and Premiere like I do, uh, and some of you all do. I use both programs depending on what mood I'm in. And right now, I'm I'm liking Final Cut Pro 10.3. I, I don't know. I just like the interface. So I'm using Premiere most of the time. But in case you want to go back, there are programs, two programs you need, X to CC and then uh, C uh, send to X. All right. Talk to you soon. Hope this helps. Any comments? I'll try to respond once you put them in the description.